a department store built almost entirely of glass. It's the new landmark of Chemnitz. After the collapse of communism, the area was a huge empty lot right in the city center. The glass department store reflects the rebirth of central Chemnitz. 25 years after the fall of the wall, the area has been transformed. Compared to how it was, Chemnitz sure has changed. I think this mix of styles doesn't really work. New, old, glass, earth colors, sorry. I think they complement each other well. A bit of old, a bit of new, it's interesting. I think it's great the way it reflects, and it's nicest up in the cafe when you look down and watch the hustle and bustle. I think it's great. The glass department store, plus the two town halls and new malls, occupied the heart of the city which is located in the eastern German state of Saxony. German-American star architect Helmut Jahn, now based in Chicago, designed the town's new landmark. When I first came here, it was a nasty winter day, snowing and raining. And there was this giant hole in the city center from these typical communist buildings for which these huge swathes have been cut through the city, destroying urban life there in the process. On his very first visit to the city, Jan took out his sketchbook. Chemnitz-based property developer Dieter Füßlein actually did what many thought he could not. He signed up Helmut Jan for the project a minor sensation. I sat with Helmut Jahn on these town hall steps. It was a void, a giant bus stop, big parking lots. This is how Karl Markstadt, which was Chemnitz's name under communism, used to look. The obligatory statue of Karl Marx. And apartment and office blocks. In 1990, Dieter Füßlein seized the moment to found his own construction firm. Several big companies showed interest in rebuilding central Chemnitz, but only Füßlein dared to start. They all got cold feet, hadn't found tenants and didn't want to build first. That or searching for tenants during construction wasn't how these companies worked. They said, first everything has to be rented and if the profit's okay, we start building. The groundbreaking ceremony took place in 1998. Filling this gap in the city would take three long years. Helmut Jahn is one of the world's top ten architects. It had to be one of the best. It's who I wanted to work with in every area. And I pretty much succeeded. Also, Helmut Jahn represented a very modern architecture, even a new paradigm during that time. Building a department store out of glass was so unusual, so new at the time. I didn't want just another concrete box. The activist developer also won over other top architects. The Red Tower Gallery shopping mall is the work of Hans Koloff. Right next door, Christoph Ingenhoven designed another department store. Chemnitz now officially calls itself the city of modernism. Its inner city project is ambitious, approaching the scale of Berlin's Potsdamer Platz. There was the big square in front of the town hall, an urban dream job. About 500 million euros poured into redeveloping the entire city center in less than 10 years. Developers, architects and city authorities worked hand in hand. Everyone wanted the same thing, which is also why it was an important project. For me it didn't matter whether it was in the former east or the former west, whether one was better or worse than the other. Central Chemnitz, 
what used to be a giant parking lot is today a bustling metropolitan area. 